Hello. Good evening. Hello, Ni Elizabeth. How are you? I'm thank you, teacher. Ah, doing good. A little hot. The weather is kind of hot. Oh, Brenda, you're at the beach right good now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> it's my my scream. I know, but let's pretend that you're at the beach right now. So you should <laughs> buy over there. I, too much. I dreaming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a I have a couple of coquitos here in my house also, but they are very small. Guys, guys, good to see you. Thank you for being here, Jennifer, uh, Don Juan, and uh, Noé, Elizabeth, Eugenio, Hi, good Norma. Teacher. Good evening, Jennifer. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Don Juan. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Enthusiastic. Yes, I'm ready. Of course. Yes. I'm always. ready. Ah, bravo. All the time. Uh, I always say in classes aburrida, nadie aprende. So, so, yeah, if, right. if, so if, break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy, I am happy. Okay, so I hope that uh, my classes get very useful to you guys. Okay, let's say, let's, uh, ah. People are coming. We're uh, nine participants right now. We cannot wait too much. Hello, Norma. Thank you for being there. You notice that today it was only one minute behind schedule. So people are coming. Yeah, we are on time. Yeah. So we cannot wait too much, but we're just wait one minute because we cannot wait too much about it. Wait, no, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> uh, yes, wait too much. Okay, meanwhile, we the rest of the people come, so I invite you to work on the platform. I am encouraging you to take the classes, to attend the classes. They are very short. I will try to do my best for you to learn, okay? I will definitely try. So uh, to learn something from these classes, uh, and I hope that a lot, but please, uh, feel in la, uh, work in la plataforma, si siente usted que puede avanzar, hágalo, no hay problema, ok? In a, in a little Spanish, Spanglish, I'm sorry, no les pude mandar hoy lo que siempre les he prometido, porque sube todo el día fuera de casa, pero mañana tempranito sí se los envío, for you, for you to practice, ok? Mm -hmm. okay, good. If, if someone does not get the... the, the the papers and the audio, please. You have my, my phone number over there, write personally to me, I can send it, okay? If someone is not on the chat, okay? And Mr. Lopez, do you send the material that you promised? And because I didn't got it, so I can send it to you personally, okay? Okay, okay. guys, okay, good. So people are coming. Let me so open uh, my presentation over here. Yes. And in this, let's start rock and roll. Let's, no, it's, the expression is not let's start rock and roll. It's let's rock and roll. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are doing ex uh, good with the timing because uh, I had 22 slides, so we are on five. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so today is, uh, remember that we are talking about what? What are we talking? We were talking about movies, actors. Uh, yes. Directors. Directors, okay. And and, tight, and we were kind of contrasting books and movies okay I, i'm sure some of you have read some books and have seen the movies okay right. i was i was telling you that my um my three favorite movies and books are misery from and uh frankenstein and the last of the mujicans that i am reading but i no he podido continuar okay so today is our it's our six or ah yes, it's our six uh, session, right? Six. Uh, six, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, what day is today? 
Tuesday, November 7th. Tuesday, November 7th. 2023. 2023. Okay. 2023. Remember that you can say 2023, but it's more popular the speaking uh, 2023, but it's okay. Okay. So, but if you can change and remember to complete the platform, as I said in Spanish, and uh, work on the midterm. Okay, so if you can advance with the exercises, go ahead. Okay, so yesterday uh, we were uh, 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 checking participles as adjectives. Remember that we have present participles and past participles. Uh, let's listen. Page 81, exercise three, grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. The new Johnny Depp movie sounds interesting. The movie Jurassic Park was boring. The book was fascinating. Past participles. I'm interested in the new Johnny Depp movie. I was bored by Jurassic Park. I was fascinated by the book. Okay, anyone can answer. What is the characteristic of present participles? Of the adjectives? What is the characteristic of the present participles? It's an action who is happening in the moment. Okay, we it's an action. Uh, uh -huh. Ah, the present participle uses ing. And we say interesting, boring, fascinating, amazing, exciting, and so on. And someone else, thank you, Don Vicente. Someone else, what is the characteristic of uh, past participles? Use ad ed. Use ed, right, like interested, born, fascinated, excited, understood. That changes because the past is understood. I understand uh, you understood the class, good. So, um, and so now, amaze. Okay, amazed. And I was presenting some uh, lists, okay, uh, participles as adjectives. And knowing, everybody repeat uh, with no microphone, behind the microphone, okay? Every, uh, annoying. Turn off. Uh -huh, turn turn off off. The yes, turn off the microphone, but repeat, okay? Okay. Uh, annoying, amusing. Boring, depressing, exciting, embarrassing, frightening, fascinating, interesting, misunderstanding, relaxing, and Shocking. Okay, now the the past participles it ends in ed. Okay, listen and repeat. Annoyed. Amuse. Born. Depressed. Excited. Embarrassed, frightened, fascinated, interested, misunderstood, relax, shock. Shock means impact. Okay, now. So we have an example over there, some sentence example with the present. For example, we say, 
Read the sentence. The class was boring. The no. class was boring. Tomorrow you will say. Okay. No, not your class. I, I, I hope that is not mine. Okay. No, no, no don't be. Class. Don't be saying tomorrow, uh, Mr. Lopez's class was boring. <laughs> okay, no, the, it's class, not your class. Uh, the class was boring. Uh, yeah, I thought that it was, uh, pensé que iba a pasar eso, okay? Gracias, muy amables. Uh, muy amables. Okay, so, and the other is? The movie is amusing. What does amusing. mean? Amusing. Amusing. Exciting. Exciting. The movie is exciting. Okay. It's good. What is the difference between sentence number one and number two? Is it which one is in the present and which one has already passed? It says number one, uh, uh, the class was boring. Number two, the mo the movie is amusing. Which okay. one is in the and the first one is uh, we are using past participle. No, uh huh. Uh huh. And the and second the one, one is, is it contains a present idea. Yes, because the class is 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 gone. Is past. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. But the idea that the movies continue playing, so they say, ah, that movie is am amusing. Yeah, that, it's happening at uh, the moment. Yeah, it's happening and uh, started in the past and continuing. So the movie is amusing. You can say the movie is exciting. The movie is amazing. The movie is amusing. Uh, the movie Wonderful. is fascinating. You can use you can use more uh, not only amusing. Oh. Star Wars is the movie is fascinating. A lot of acts and a lot of special effects and so on. So you see, you can use more than one. For example, the class was boring. <laughs> the class was, mm, if you, let's say that you didn't understand very well. So you say, oh, the class was misunderstanding. <laughs> okay, so. That's but it's an, not misunderstanding. Uh, no comprensible. Okay. Oh my it God. was kind of confusing. Okay. And my vacation was, what is number three? My vacation was so relaxing. relaxing. It was so relaxing. My vacation was so exciting. My vacation was so amazing. You see, you can use more than one. Okay. To, to express a full idea, okay? Uh, my vacation was so in interesting. You see, not only relaxing. Okay, but you just want to say that, oh, now you are good. After being very stressed, so you being like that. Number four. Science. Science. Is interesting to Terry. Uh, science is interesting to Terry. Can we use another uh, 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 another adjective over there? Those are adjectives. Uh, those son adjetivos, lo único que lo estamos usando with present participle, which is ing. And yep. Science is interesting to, bon, uh, to Terry. Can we use another adjective from the list that we have over there? Yes or no? Maybe it's good. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you're very you're very smart. You say maybe. No, Mr. Lopez. I don't want to say <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> I want to say no because the idea cannot fit another. So uh, let me show you why. We'll see why. We cannot use another, we cannot use amusing uh, because it means that theory is interesting in something. That's why I cannot use another. Como en las primeras tres, that we can use different uh, adjectives over there. Okay, now, so sentence examples with, with uh, 
with past. Okay, I use the same adjectives in these sentences. So we say the class was boring. How can I put that in a, in a past participle? The class. I uh, tried. Uh, don't don't worry if we, there is a mistake. How can the we class are bored? Ah. No, no. <laughs> uh huh. Bored. Uh, okay. The class was born. Or uh, let's use a subject pronoun. I. I can say. Born by the class. I was born by the class. Ay, Mr. Mr. Lopez. Okay, so I was born by the class. Okay. And what about the movie is amazing, amusing, exciting, fascinating? How can I put that but, one? Teacher, I got a question, but in this uh, in this example, in number one, uh, we are not talking about about me. No, 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 we no. Are talking about no, uh, any class, any class. But but in this and number two, yes. So the thing is that uh, who was uh, who was boring on the first on the, the first class. sentence? The ah, class. the class was boring. But in the other one, we but, are talking uh, about me. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, the subject is the class, and here. The class be be um a change object. to object. Yes, good, excellent. And it says I was born by the class. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe it was not the class. Maybe it was the teacher. There are some some difference. Okay. Some we are using uh, or, uh -huh. or we are uh, uh, talking about um uh, passive voice. Um. Yeah. More or less, yes. But in this case, the only thing is that is that one. Okay, the movie is amusing. The second it will be. The man is amused by the by movie. the movie. Uh huh. The man was excited by the movie. The man was uh, uh fascinated by the movie okay you see you, you can use different uh, adjectives over there the man is amused by the movie i'm using the same uh, adjectives over there but i can use different okay the man uh, the man is excited by the movie the man is uh, fascinated by, by the movie and so on the vacation was so relaxing i on oh, my vacation? I relaxed in my vacation. No. Uh -huh. I okay. On oh, my vacation was so relaxed. But also I can say I feel so relaxed from my vacation. I feel so relaxed from my vacation. Please everybody participate. Don't be quiet. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Uh, science is interested to Terry. This is interesting. This sentence is very interesting. Uh, uh, what will be the the past participle in that sentence? So, the, uh huh. Uh, tell me, Sari. It could be. Terry is interested in science. Good, Bye. excellent. Terry is interested in science. Okay, yeah, excellent. Good job. Okay, so those are the things I hope that they are comprehensible, the ways that we use uh, uh, participles over there. As I said, I will send you some extra exercises. Okay, this is the, the things more or less. Any any doubts? Any questions? No. Okay. Well, I, I think Scott <laughs> say no. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me, don't Juli or oh, someone. No, we don't have any questions. Ah, okay. 
at this moment. Okay, now let's practice. Complete the sentences compared with a partner. Okay, remember that we are using over there. Let's do number one together. This, ah, who are the, the, who is this guy over there? What's his name? Denzel. That's Sam Washington. Washington. What does, what does he do? What is his job? He's an actor. He's an actor. Okay. An actor. Yeah, he's an actor and he's a producer also. And um, and uh, is he a good actor? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I think he's the the one from from the Equalizer, right? El Vengador, right? Equalizer. Yes, he's a very interesting actor. Yeah, I like those movies. I like I like when he, when his friend, well, his ex friend said, you know, that's what we do. He said in English, and he said, yeah, I understand that, but the only problem that you kill my friend. <laughs> so I like that specific part <laughs> because the way that he takes. Okay, so this thing. Oh, and the other one is who's the other? Uh, my actress, uh, the actress. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Uh huh. Any movies from her? Uh, I don't remember any. Any from there. Okay, guys. Um, do you know that if it we, we if it is a man, we say he's an actor. If it is a yeah. woman, we say she's actress. an actress. But uh, referring to both of them, to Winona and Desert Washington, what terms can we use? Uh, they are? Actors. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe it's a sect. Yes, it's a sect. In fact, some, some of the books say it's actors. When uh, uh, she's an actor, she's an, uh, he's an actor. But when you refer to both, you, we usually say they are movie stars. Okay. Movie star. They are movie stars, referring to men and women. Okay. It's the same. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, so you're saying that they, they are actor and actress, um, but you and instead you use they are movie stars. Mister, okay. did, yes. Did you remember the Johnny Depp the movie in Yeah uh, Scissor Men? Yeah. She's the the collaborator. Uh -huh. Collaborated. Yeah, she's the one over there, right? It was, uh, I saw it a long time ago. Good, excellent. Okay, this thing, Washington, is a very mm, actor. Interest, interest, Team. interest. So what will be over there? Interesting. Okay, let's see what's happened. Oh, ah, ay, me asustó. It's the, the other video. <laughs> A ver, let me just close this one. Okay. Okay. John Desen Washington is a very interesting actor. Good. I find nature, nature, I'm sorry, it's not nature, nature films nature film. mm, fascinated. Fascinated. At ED? At ED, yeah. I find nature films fascinated. I'll give you like one minute or maybe two minutes. Try to do the exercises, please. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not mm, in horror films, interest. I'm mm, with watching television, born. Uh, remember only uh, always leave a space between your computer, your laptop, or your mobile in order to have a space to 
write down to take notes. The second one is also fascinating. ING. Hello. Mister, are you mute? I think. We cannot hear you. You still email teacher. Something happened. Maybe your headphones got connected. Let me let me hear you now. Now I can hear you. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, some, something uh, switched to another one, I guess. Now you can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, we can hear okay. you. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. It's uh, raining. Uh, okay. Ra yeah, it's raining. Okay. Uh, number three, volunteer. What it will be? A volunteer? Interesting. I am not. 
interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Interested in movies. Uh, Claudia, I guess you were, you wanted to say one? Number uh, four? Okay. I'm bored with watching television. I'm bored with watching television. Excellent. Good job. Someone else? I love I love Winona Ryder's latest movie. I was another volunteer. I was I'm say amazing. Amazed. I was amazed. Amazed that okay. it didn't do better. Uh huh. But you were an impact for the movie. That you can say I was impact with the movie. I was amazed with the movie. Okay, I was excited with the movie. Re remember that you can use different, okay? But and uh, another volunteer. I thought Jurassic Park was an was an exciting book. Exciting? An exciting book. Yes, was an exciting book. Good. And number seven. Surprise. Ah. I'm surprised. I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated. By Michael by Christian my... novels. Mm -hmm. Michael Christian's. And the last one, another volunteer is surprise. It they right. it's mm, they don't make many western these days. Why were so surprising? Surprising. It's surprising that they don't make um who is this day. Yeah, from El Bueno El Mal y El Feo, so no more Western movie. Uh my Clint Eastwood movies. Okay, good. So those are the things. And remember that you can you can use different um you can use different adjectives. For example, here we have a good example. We have some adjectives. Okay, I thought if I'm not mistaken, this uh, okay. Okay, uh, for example, we have awful. Is a positive or negative awful? Positive. Ne <laughs> negative. Yeah, Brenda is negative, and wonderful. Positive. 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 And stupid. Negative. Negative. Strange. It's, it's kind of negative, but it's kind of, yeah, negative. Uh -huh. Fix it. In the middle? I would say that is 100%. Uh, that is, uh, um, oh, no. uh, I'm sorry, my gesture over here like that. A strange, it was like not very good, like like anacondas dos. I like anacondas. Not, not very common. Yeah, like anacondas dos, it was kind of a very strange movie. Okay. Uh, one, it's not was because of Jennifer Lopez, but it was much better. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so we are studying here. Um, uh, what is the adjective, the, the learning? Catherine Vasquez, could you read the learning adjective? Yeah, um, learn and classify sound and synonyms. Or common, common adjectives. adjectives. Okay. <laughs> Remember that these are adjectives, but we were using them in ing or in ed. So, for example, absurd. Where will we put absurd? For me, uh, it's a stupid. Uh, oh, awful. Okay. It, it won't come out because because uh, I think I have it in order. Yeah. Okay. So, what uh, could you please write then? Make a list of uh, write the adjective. For example, awful, disgusting. Okay. Es que los tengo así como primero awful, después wonderful, después stupid, después strange. Could you make a list? Uh, try to put it. Um, 
And I promise that I, I will not ask. I, I just will place the adjectives and you check your answers. Okay. Uh-huh. You have like two minutes. It's raining over here. Yeah, in my in my neighborhood too. Yeah. So we have, uh, uh, meanwhile you do it, I will read the adjectives over there. We have absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumped, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, Silly, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. Almost ready? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, one more minute. Please. Okay, almost? Almost, yeah, right. Almost. Okay. <laughs> Just like 30 seconds more because- Thank you very much. You're welcome. I I feel nice with this <laughs> headphones. Mister. Yeah. Um, I think all the um where is the same. Which one? All um where. All the and well. Mm, where? Oh, no. Uh, yes. Almost. Uh, it's like all this like strange. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, all of them. Uh, the movie was all of them. Like, like the one I'm sorry, not making propaganda, like Anacondas Dos and Trees. <laughs> it was like all of them. It was and Tom and Tilly is, is the same, is the like same? Yeah. Okay, so let me place the, the adjectives on the place over there. Check your answers, okay? So, for example, we say awful, disgusting, dreadful, horrible, terrible. Those are a synonyms of awful. What is a synonym? The, the same meaning, almost the same meaning. Wonderful. What it will be wonderful? Wonderful. Like, uh -huh, like fabulous. Fantastic. Fantastic. Marvelous. Marvelous. And outstanding. 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 Oh. What is man. outstanding? And yeah, that movie was outstanding. It was fantastic. It was fabulous it was marvelous so you're saying the same that movie was outstanding that movie was wonderful that movie was fantastic um stupid that will be absurd dump uh-huh dump. dump ridiculous silly. ridiculous and silly silly <laughs> silly silly is like crazy oh man you're silly that's an expression okay that's an expression like, okay, a strange. Odd. Uh, 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 bizarre. Odd. Bizarre. Uh, bizarre. Uh, uh, unusual and weird. Okay. Okay. Now weird. let's read. Okay. Behind microphones, let's read and repeat the, the adjectives. Okay. I will make a pause and you repeat. Awful. Awful. Disgust, Awful. Disgusting. 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 Dreadful. 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 Horrible. 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 Terrible. 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 Fabulous. 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 Fantastic. 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 Marvelous. 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 Outstanding. 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 Okay. Absurd. 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 Dumb. 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 Ridiculous. 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 Silly. 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 Bizarre. Bizarre. Dumb. Odd. Uh, uh, un unusual. unusual, 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 weird, weird. Okay. Uh, uh, remember that the 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 C the Z in English is sound Z C with no sound and Z B. So we say bizarre, like zebra. Okay. Bizarre. bizarre yeah bizarre. bizarre yeah good english okay let's listen we had uh some people evaluating we have an uh how do you like it there are people talking about movies and books and check the adjective that best describe the movie and the book so number one what are the adjectives everybody reads Number one. Fascinating. Uh-huh. Continue. Silly. Silly. Strange. A strange. Another volunteer, number two. Wonderful or boring. Boring, good. Another volunteer, number three. Boring, terrific. Dreadful. Dreadful. Good. Excellent. Dreadful. Another volunteer number four. Ridiculous. Interesting. Exciting. Good. Excellent. Good job, guys. An applause. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, let's listen. Page 82, exercise 5. Listening. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, I couldn't stop reading it once I got started. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. And uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't ask. Do you have this exercise available that you can? Uh, oh, at least uh, if you don't have it right, listen. Number one, write number one, number two, number three, number four, and then you just write the adjective. Okay. So if you don't have the the exercise available. Okay, you just write the adjective. For example, if in number one, you seen the, the evaluation is silly, you write number one, silly. Okay, comprende? Yes, we understand. Uh, uh, okay, good, excellent. Actually, you can say that in English. You say, when you're playing something, you say, comprende? <laughs> it's like it's Spanglish, but it's acceptable, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's- Me no comprende. I mean, no complaint. <laughs> Good, excellent. Page 82, exercise five. Listening. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. One. What did you think of the new Stephen <laughs> King book? Oh, I couldn't stop reading it once I got started. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in that movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? Oh, I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me want to go there and see it for myself sometime. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing those stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay, do you get the answers? We tried, but... Yes. Okay, let me play one yeah, more time. Okay, we're, don't worry. We, let me play it one more time. Uh, finish or check your answers, please. Page 82, exercise 5. Listening. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, I couldn't stop reading it once I got started. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Okay, what about number one? It's a train. It's uh, fascinating. It's, it's fascinating, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, it was a fascinating movie. It was hard to put it down, he said. 
When it's hard to put it down, when you are fascinated by something. Okay, number two. Boring. Boring. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. They said? You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, well, I mean... He's usually pretty good. Well, not in that movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. And wonderful, all are boring. 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 It was dreadful. He used the word dreadful. And it was boring. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? Oh, I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Aha, uh -huh. it was pretty amazing. It made me want to go there and see it for myself sometime. And number three? Terrific. Terrific. Amazing. It was amazing. It was nice. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing yeah. new. You know, I'm sick of hearing those stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay, so... Ridiculous. 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 That's oh, the wow. same scene, silly stuff. A Waste little time. Yeah. But we don't know, right? I mean, if God is mighty, that's something that I'm not going to discuss, but we really don't know. So anyway, so this is the thing that we were pronouncing over there. So it says, Don Antonio. Could you help me with the um uh, with uh Don Juan Antonio? Help me with the learning objective. The objective of all these uh, sentences. Let me see. Uh, learning hmm. object. Notice. Notice. Uh huh. Notice. Just oh, with yeah. the, how oh, I'm sorry, I don't. Notice. Notice how? How do I see? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Sorry. That's uh -huh. okay. Learning objective. Notice how emphatic stress is used to express an opinion. An opinion. Okay, so we have some words over there. Uh, which syllable is stressed in each of the words? Okay. Okay. So uh, we're not as expert on that, but let's try to, first of all, uh, listen and repeat. Okay. First of all, listen and repeat after. I uh, know only listen because I want you to see how they sound. Page 82, exercise six. Pronunciation, word and sentence stress. Part A, which syllable is stressed in each of these words? Mark the stress, then listen and check. Uh, only listen. The first time we're going to do it and the other way around. First listen and then we'll try to mark the stress, okay? Okay. Uh. Practice the words with a partner. Absurd. Amazing. Fantastic. Fabulous. Outstanding. Fascinating. Successful. Ridiculous. Terrible. Surprising. Unusual. Terrific.
Okay. Uh, now let's, uh, from behind microphone, let's listen and repeat. I will make a pause. Okay. Page 82, exercise six, pronunciation, word and sentence stress. Part A, which syllable is stressed in each of these words? Mark the stress, then listen and check. Practice the words with a partner. Let's practice the Absurd. words. Absurd. Absurd. From, from behind microphone for everybody to... Amazing. Oops. Fantastic. I'm sorry. Well, fantastic. I put you the answers over there. Okay, from the beginning. Let me just... It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, it was an accident with the... Uh, listen, I, I shouldn't be saying this one, but maybe um, I'm not very good at marking the stress on the, on the syllabus, but as long as you pronounce it in a correct way, that would be fantastic. Maybe I shouldn't say this one, but as long as your English sounds good and it's pronounced a good way, you made it, okay? Let me put the answers over there for you to repeat, okay? Okay, let's try one more time. And, oops, the time is running. Page 82, exercise six. Pronunciation, word and sentence stress. Part A, which syllable is stressed in each of these words? Mark the stress, then listen and check. Practice the words with a partner. Absurd. Absurd. Amazing. Fantastic. Fabulous. Outstanding. Fascinating. Successful. Ridiculous. Terrible. Surprising. Unusual. Terrific. Okay, those are the words. Absurd, amazing, fantastic, fabulous, outstanding, fascinating, successful, ridiculous, terrible, surprising, unusual, terrific. And now we have some sentences. Con esto terminamos. Let's listen and repeat, okay? I will make a pause detrás del micrófono, behind microphone. Page 82, exercise 6, part B. Listen and practice these sentences. Pay attention to stress. It was a terrific book, but a terrible movie. I thought Jurassic Park was ridiculous, but it was very successful. Jaws was an exciting movie with many frightening scenes. Okay, okay, we finish over here. Just let me take the attendance. And uh, I have it open over here. The attendance here. Okay, let's say Anna, Sonia, Elizabeth. Present, present teacher. Okay, good. Andrea <laughs> Esther Acosta Hernández. Present, mister. Brenda Claribel Mejía Segovia. I'm here, present. Good. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Present, mister. Claudia María Gómez Canizales. Present, teacher. Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. 
Present, Mr. Eh, Giovanni, uh, sorry, Giovanni Josué González Olmedo. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo Flores. Present. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Catherine. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine. Sorry. Uh, uh, that's all right. Catherine Maribel Vasquez Flores. Present. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar de Najarro. Lorena Araceli and Lorena de Los Ángeles. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher, I am here. Okay, María José Najarro Mengíbar. No, María José. Eh, Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present. Norma Lisset uh, Crispín Orellana. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Sar Saraí Noemí Trejos Ulloa. Here, teacher. Eh, Vicente Israel Sandoval Erazo. Present. Y no, Vicente Israel. Ah, Vicente Israel, sorry. And Wendy Lisset Garcia de Cedillos. Present teacher. Good, excellent. Okay, guys, so so I encourage you not to miss classes, please, or I feel bad. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.